having uh, completed with uh, system architecture and security architecture um, a um, yeah we're now into application security and uh, so um, an opportunity I suppose to remind you uh, who I am that I am whatever um, uh, but also um, because I it, uh, the change in um, uh, topic uh, domain uh, has reminded me that I've been a bit remiss in providing references and uh, sorry I've fallen down on that uh, which I shouldn't have I am um, after all the uh, the book guy uh, one of the um, uh, contributions that I've made to the field is, is in uh, tons and tons and tons of reviews of the uh, base security literature and and so I should have been doing it fortunately it hasn't uh, 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 some of the, the topics so far don't have a ton of, of references to them um, but uh, we, I did mention um, Security Engineering uh, by Anderson. Anything by Anderson is worth reading. Um, so, um, in terms of security management, uh, back away, effective security management by uh, Senewald. Um, he, um, he was mostly a physical security guy, but, um, I mean, because it's, it's security management, um, and because management is, is so similar, regardless of what it is that you're managing, uh, that, you know, 85% of what he talks about there is applicable to security management in terms of information security, as well as the, the physical security that he does. And as for the remaining 15%, well, you're supposed to know about physical security anyways, and we, we'll uh, eventually get into that. Um, interesting books... And again, um, uh, anything uh, by Fred Cohen is worth reading. Um, the Possibly the reason that I don't recommend Fred's books more is that he, uh, he almost takes a, a really idiosyncratic uh, point of view, perspective on on what he's doing with uh, the the topic, and it's it's really interesting. All all the more useful in in that sense that um, looking at at reading Fred's uh, perspective uh, works description of a given topic um, definitely gets you thinking. Um, it you pro you know. They're demanding because you have to start thinking pretty much right away. You're sort of like, you know, what is this guy talking about? And it's only when you figure out what he is actually talking about that you realize how important his perspective is and, and how useful uh, to your career and um, your understanding of it. Uh, but in terms of management, um, he's got the governance guidebook. A really interesting thing only about 30 pages long. Um, you think it's kind of a pamphlet, um, and you, and then you start reading it, and, and, and it's really challenging, and you're sort of like, you know, what, what is going on here? And, and then you start to realize, wait a minute, he's just put, you know, a ton of concept um, and, and foundational understanding into this stuff, and it's, it's sort of you you can read like a paragraph at a time rather than, you know, several pages or a chapter. Um, I mean, the whole book is practically a chapter. But, you know, work through it. Um, and, you know, it, it may take you, uh, you know, a couple of months to, to work through this 30-page book and, and make sure that you understand what's going on and then start again at the beginning. This is, you know, it's definitely something that's worth rereading to remind you over and over again of many ideas in security that we need to be reminded of. Um, 
in terms of access control. Um, the uh, oh the uh, the work on it is uh, authentication from passwords to public key by Smith. Um, uh, again, a reasonably short word, but very, very complete, very comprehensive. And uh, I would say that that is um, uh, the book that you need if, if the access control field is, is uh, what you feel you need to study. Um, with regard to especially area in that, there's all kinds of books on biometrics. But bi biometrics by Woodward, Orleans, and Higgins um, would be the one that I would suggest. Um, an awful lot of the biometrics um, books were written by people who sort of jumped on the bandwagon when it got to be very popular a few years ago and really didn't understand uh, the requirements. Um, Woodward, Orleans, and Higgins, uh, they're the guys to go to. Okay, um, application security uh, that we're dealing with here. Um, and I suppose I'll, I'll get more into uh, what the what that covers, what the topics are um, uh, next time. Uh, only starting out with um, the fact that uh, I'm having a really bad day, which is uh, of absolutely no significance to you, particularly since only part of that, a uh, small part of that, is uh, to do with um, technology. But that uh, small part is um, user interface design. And uh, do remember that that is something... Um, technical people, people in development, people in programming um, tend to neglect and think, oh, it's, you know, it's not important. It's something to be added on at the end. No, it is important. Uh, you know, the, the human is a part of your system and you need to address that. And I had a really interesting morning dealing with the fact that, uh, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm tech savvy. Uh, I, uh, have uh i'm probably you know tech savvy in terms of the general population but even within the tech field i'm probably more tech savvy than uh than most but i've never had an iphone and i uh, have to deal with an iphone for the next couple of weeks here and uh, it's important and uh <laughs> I found the, uh, well, eventually somebody uh, told me where to find the switch on an iPhone that allows it to ring. This is possibly one of the worst cases of user interface design I've ever seen. But anyway, um, uh, yeah, uh, in terms of the references, though, in uh, the material that we'll be looking at, Software Engineering by Ian Somerville. Um, that, uh, it's, it's on programming and, and development. Um, it doesn't even have a separate chapter on security. It sort of integrates security into the whole process, which is actually the way you should be, uh, dealing with it. Um, uh, software security, building security in by McGraw. Um, that is a, a very good reference. Um, applied software project management um, uh, by uh, Stallman uh, and Green. Um, okay, Stallman, you know, famous name there. Um, Rethinking the Electronic Healthcare Record by Martin Weilu. Um, a, a very, very interesting uh, work and, and one that I uh, strongly suggest, even though it sounds... Uh, very uh, specialized. It does focus on the issue of requirements uh, very strongly. Um, and Viruses Revealed uh, by David Harley and one Robert M. Slade. Uh, and uh, so we'll, we'll um, you know, that's, that's sort of get you started, give you some background as we go into the application security topic.